hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tech news of the day. Reliance Retail has launched a new smartphone called Life C459 in its Life Wind series at 4700 rupees. It has a 4.5 inch display with standard resolution, Snapdragon 210 processor with 1GB RAM and 8GB internal storage with SD card support up to 128GB. It has a 5 megapixel camera on the rear and a 2 megapixel camera on the front with a 2000 mAh battery. Phone seems decent for the price, but spend a little more and get a good device. Say a Redmi 4A or the Redmi 4. Next news is from Microsoft. Microsoft is planning to launch new devices with the name Surface Phones and has made its patent public. According to the patent, it's a bendable smartphone. It might be released in the fourth quarter of 2017. Next news is from HTC. HTC has launched its flagship U11 in India last month in silver and black color variants. Now the company has announced the sapphire blue color on Twitter and priced it at 52,000 rupees. The main highlighting feature of the HTC U11 remains to be Edge Sense, where we can squeeze the phone and perform some actions. Recently, HTC has added Alexa, Amazon's digital assistant, to the U11. Now you can squeeze the phone to talk to Alexa. As of now, this new feature is available only in US and UK. Next news is from BlackBerry. The black version of BlackBerry Key 1 has been leaked online. Now this phone has a full-fledged keyboard that supports gesture, swipe input, and shortcut that can be assigned to almost all the keys on the device. It also has a fingerprint scanner that's embedded in the keyboard spacebar. It has a 4.5 inch Full HD display with 3 to 2 aspect ratio. It rocks the Snapdragon 625 processor with 3GB RAM and 32GB internal storage and it could be launched in India on August 1st. Next news is from Apple. Samsung is currently supplying OLED panels for Apple's anniversary iPhone and there is quite a bit of shortage of OLED panels this year. To address this issue and probably to save some more money, Apple has started its preparation to manufacture its own OLED panels for 2018's edition of iPhone. They will be manufactured in Taiwan. Next news is about the Google Pixel 2. Google Pixel 2's renders have been released by ValueWalk. To be honest, they don't look good and I hope it doesn't turn out that way. Next we have rumors about Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Samsung Galaxy Note 8 will be released on August 23rd. Now that's not stopping any rumors. Based on the latest rumors, it will have a dual camera setup on the rear with a 12 megapixel wide angle camera and a 13 megapixel camera with telephoto lens with 3x zoom. According to another rumor, Note 8 will be available in 5 colors. Black, grey, silver, coral blue and deep blue. Next news is from Gioni. Gioni has launched Gioni A1 Plus in India for 27,000 rupees and sales start from July 26th. It's available in two colors, grey and mocha gold. It has a 6 inch Full HD display, sporting the Helios P25 processor with 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage, running Android 7.2 Nougat and is powered by a 4500mAh battery. It supports fast charging and comes with an 18W fast charger. On the rear, it has a dual camera setup with a 13 and 5 megapixel sensors. On the front, it has a 20 megapixel camera. The biggest con of this phone is its weight. It weighs 226 grams and is definitely the heaviest phone I have seen this year. Next news is from Nokia. HMD Global is sending out media invites for the launch of Nokia 8 in London on August 26th. We already have a lot of rumors about it, confirmed specs, confirmed leaked images. The main highlighting feature of this phone will be the dual 13 megapixel cameras on the rear. Expected price is around $600. Next we have a news from U Televentures. U Televentures has launched a new phone called Unique 2 exclusively on Flipkart for 6000 rupees. It has a 5 inch HD display with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection. It sports the MediaTek MT6737 processor with 2GB RAM, 16GB internal storage. It has a 13 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front facing camera and it is powered by a 2500mAh battery. It has the same processor seen in Moto C+, Moto E4+, Plus, and the Nokia 3. But will it perform as good as those phones? Should be seen. At a price of 6000 rupees, I will definitely suggest you not to buy this phone. Get a Redmi 4 or a 4A. Next news is from OnePlus. OnePlus has started spamming OnePlus 3 and 3T owners worldwide with OnePlus 5 ads. As of now, we don't have any option to block out those pop-ups 
They pop up anytime, anywhere, on any model, regardless of where you are from. Next news is about the Honor 6X. Honor 6X has received the NuGet update back in early May, and now Huawei has finally released the kernel source code for this phone. Now you can expect more third-party development for this phone like custom ROMs and custom kernels. Next we have a news from Xiaomi. Xiaomi backed Yi Technologies has launched two action cameras in India. Yi action camera for 7000 rupees and Yi 4K action camera for 18000 rupees. They have also launched two security cameras, Yi home IP camera for 3000 rupees and Yi dom IP camera for 5000 rupees. I have tried them and they are excellent for the price. Next news is from Google. Google has launched a new app called Motion Stills for Android. It was launched for iOS last year, but now it's available on Android. You can use the app to take live photos. That's a photo along with a small video clip and you can share that video as a GIF or a video. So guys, that's the end of the tech news. I hope you like it. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.